right guys so i'm starting off with her eyebrows i'm using the nyx brow pencil in the shade ash brown i'm just filling them in a little bit and as you can see right here i'm extending her eyebrow shape a little bit more so it's like just so it could be a little bit more filled in and more larger not larger girl you see it's why i don't do the voiceovers more thicker so i'm also filling in a little bit of the top and i'm gonna just blend it in with the spoolie I'm starting to clean up her eyebrows and I'm using a flat brush and I mixed the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Nude with the Too Faced, I mean with the Too Faced, with the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in 12B Fair Beige. So I mixed both of them because she is a little light so I wanted to blend those in together so I can make like a perfect eye eyeshadow, eyeshadow, what the fudge, concealer <laughs> shade, I'm so sorry you guys. But um, yeah, I'm just going to clean up the eyebrows and I'm also, for priming the eyes, I'm going to be using the same concealer. So I'm just going to bring it down to her eye and blend it in. I'm using the James Charles by Morphe palette and I'm using the dark brown shade and I'm going to blend this all the way into her crease and go a little bit above her crease because since she does have a lot of eyelid space, I could work with the eyeshadow more. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it in the outer crease and start blending it in to the inner crease. I also ended up putting a little bit of black eyeshadow in the outer area of her eyelid or her crease or whatever just so it could intensify a little bit of the eye more and you could see like the definition of the two colors. Using the same concealer that I used to clean up her eyebrows is the same thing that I'm using. I'm using the same brush also. So I just start patting in the concealer and then I start cutting her crease, which is following the eyelid of where her crease ends and starts. Alright, now to fill in her eyelid colors, I'm using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Jaw Palette. Mixed the Luxe and Pink Rose shade, and then I went back to the James Charles Morphe palette, and I went in with a orange shade, as you can see, and I'm just gonna do like a little ombre cut crease, so I'm just intensifying that orange and then i'll go ahead and go back in with the dark brown shade and just put it in the outer crease of the eyelid just so it could give it like a little ombre effect and then i'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the other eyelid and everything that i did to the other eye is what i'm gonna start doing to this All right, all right. I know you're going to be asking me what I put on her eyelid, but these are my pigments that I sell. So I'm using the Tinkerbell shade, which is that white, white pigment. And then I'm using the rose gold one, which I think that's pixie dust. And I'm going to just start cleaning up her 
face because the pigment obviously fell into her face so i'm using a makeup wipe just to remove any excess eyeshadow that fell down or any pigment that fell down but yeah you guys and i'm gonna start doing her eyeliner and i'm using the wet and well mega liner and i'm gonna do a wing liner because that's what look she wanted to go for All right, so now that I finished both the wing liners, I'm going to start priming her face. And I'm using the e.l.f. Mint Primer, which is that green bottle. And this reminds me of the Hydro Milk Primer. If you know, you know. So I'm going to just start bending that into her skin because I love using this primer because it holds onto the foundation. It's really good and it makes it last all day. And I also gonna spray her face a little bit with setting spray before I apply foundation, just so it can have that sticky base to stick onto the foundation. And now I'm using my Abby lashes in the shade in the shade, girl in the style Hoochie Mama. And I'm applying these into her, obviously her eyelashes, dead girl with the thick. Um, I'm applying these, and I use the dual lash glue, I believe. And then here, I don't know what happened to the camera. I think it went into like time lapse. So I did that shit so fast. If only I could do makeup this freaking fast i will have like 20 clients a day but yeah you guys just keep watching because i don't know i kind of like that it's fast fit i just don't like the quality but it'll go away soon all right to cream contour i went in with the elf is it the hydrating concealer yeah with the hydrating concealer i think it's in cinnamon and then i also set her under eyes with the anastasia beverly hills setting powder in banana and then to make her under eyes a little bit lighter i did apply a little bit of the mac nc20 setting powder just so i could give it like a bright, bright under eye and then i'm gonna start setting her face with the fenty beauty setting powder in the shade uh, let me check because it's right in front of me and the shade 180 and then i went in with blush which i'm using the beauty creations blush and i'm using as you can see that very pinky blush because it's so pretty and matches with her skin tone so that's what i'm applying and everything that i have listed or that you see right here that i'm using will be in the description box because i'm not going to be able to name everything just because i kind of forgot and i don't have it in front of me like all the products that i use on her but everything will be in the description box if not comment down below and you already know i always answer y'all so right now I'm here just baking her nose just so I could give it that little snatched look. voila now i'm gonna start setting her face with the urban decay all nighter ultra mattes and then i'm gonna be blending it in a little bit with the beauty blender just so any harsh dots that you see on the face don't end up setting on her face and looking like you know if you know you know they end up looking like little patches in her face which i did not want so i do blend them in with the beauty sponge remember to always do that and then i'm adding the anastasia and breezy highlighter onto her nose her cheekbones and a little bit on her lip but now i'm going ahead and adding a little bit of more bronzer and blush because i think with the setting spray it went away a little bit so yeah and boom girl look at her looking like a baddie period girl <laughs> 